All right, welcome to this episode of my playthrough of Final Fantasy VII Remake. We are in the arena in Wall Market, where we are just wrapping up all of these um, standard fights and getting all the stuff that it has to offer me before proceeding with the main story. So, uh, without any further ado, let's keep going, okay? Alright, just gonna rest up before going into the next one. I don't anticipate I need it, but uh, it's worth doing just in case. And before we actually get started, uh, because I've done a bunch of solo battles and um, two-person battles, I'm just going to quickly check the material to make sure that there's none that have maxed as part of that. So it looks like all of Cloud stuff is good. Barrett stuff is good. Parry is maxed, so I can change Parry out for something else. Auto cure is maxed, but that's okay. I want to keep that one on. Poison materia is going to be maxed out right away here. As is, as is barrier. Yeah. So let's swap out parry for something. So what do we want to replace parry with? You know, I, when I switched Barrett back from Wrecking Ball to Big Bertha, I had to get rid of some of the blue materia. I'm going to go with one of those. Let's go for... So there's the warding and there's the elemental materia. But it looks like the elemental materia didn't get any AP, so let's give the warding materia. Because it's the one that's already been started. Mithril Claws. Do I still want to keep Mithril Claws? Because I had the Feathered Gloves before, uh, so Feathered Gloves... Because I've also um, got 100% proficiency on Cheat Trap. So Feathered Gloves is minus 10 MP, plus 31 attack, minus 14 magic attack, plus 1 defense, uh, plus 1 vitality, and plus 14 speed. But it's one less Materia slot. Yeah, I like the increase in attack and speed, and I'm willing to take the hit on the uh, MP and magic attack for it. What that also means, though, is instead of warding, is I'm going to go back to the magnify materia here, because that was the one Tifa was already working on. Okay, choose an opponent to fight. Three-person team versus Shinra Warriors, a, team, a series of three-person team battles in which you pick your team, fic, fight mixed teams of Shinra operators and monsters united only by a shared bloodlust. Interesting. Five rounds, three team members, 300 gil, and you get tarot cards, whatever that does. So, uh, right now it's got its shield up. Do any of us have... So Tifa has bio. Because right now it's immune to physical. Gotcha. 
Didn't expect to see a ghost, but that's okay. I can wait it out. Shield is only a limited time. It's possessing Cloud. That was that's interesting. Where are you, Ghosty? That's the way to do it. I freaking hate teletroopers. They're annoying, but uh, whatever. At least I've got Barrett with me this time, which I didn't when I was fighting them on the uh, support pillar. Clouds of Frog, ha! I think we just maxed out our poison materia. Really 
that, okay? I got gotcha. you. There we go. Got some tarot cards. And two-person team versus team payback. A series of two-person team battles in which you pick your team, fight powerful foes who are a menace to the slums. Interesting. Come back anytime you want to fight. I just want to quickly take a look because I think we got some. Uh, I think we got the poison materia is maxed, and as is the barrier. Yes. So what we can do is we can now. What else do I want to? We were going to do the elemental materia. And warding. Yeah, let's level those ones up. Uh, but how am I doing health wise? Oh, I'm fully healed up. Okay, so I don't. Uh, am I? Uh, Barrett's not quite at full HP, but that's okay. Okay, choose an opponent to fight. Two-person team versus team payback. And I'm going to go for Cloud and Tifa. Oh, so these are like all of the um, challenging hunts that I've that I've taken on. That's interesting. Let's go. 
You're done. Yeah. I'm ending this. Keep it up. Strike hard and fast. Uh -huh. Would kill for a shower. Oh, frick, it's Crowmogger. Crowmogger was a pain. to get out of the silence area so that I can heal up so I can't use items to heal
I'm just hanging back here so I can uh, wait out the silence so I can heal up. There we go. I'm gonna save Cloud's Limit Break for uh, whatever the next thing is. I forgot that the limit break uh, resets at the end of the battle. The um, Algid Aura ability. That's interesting. Don't really know what that is. But I learned it uh, with the enemy skill. The one on the right is new. Jury rigged cutter. Interesting. Okay. Cutters are usually a bit of a pain to begin with.
I just want an ATV gauge so I can heal up. got a Moogle's amulet. And that's all of the uh, challenges I've completed. And it looks like all the rewards have changed to grab bag, which I'm assuming means random. Come back anytime you want to fight. All right, so let's heal up again. Let's head back up to the main level of Wall Market. I think, when it comes to quests, the only one that I haven't cleared is Corneo's Secret Stash, but that's in the sewers and I don't really know how to get there aside from through Corneo's Mansion or through the Train Graveyard, but the Train Graveyard doesn't really exist anymore because Sector 7 doesn't really exist anymore. You're kidding. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to call an end of the episode here. You know the drill, click over there. Join me next time as we start heading to Corneo's Mansion and see what happens. See you then.